What is going on YouTube? It is Lord Zhang Fei. Super stoked to be back to making some videos. Ran into a little hiccup. We'll get into that a little later. But Diablo 2 resurrected, man. Super stoked. This looks really good after all the years of getting shit on at BlizzCon. Looks like they're doing a good job. So Vicarious Vision looks like they're the ones that are gonna make it happen, you know? I'm very glad Blizzard was able to outsource this idea because their last few remasters have not been so great. Yeah. Well, either way, what I got for you today, awesome iteration of the Bone Summon Hybrid Necromancer. This has been done many times. I've, I've seen a bunch of variations of this build, uh, but none quite really capitalized on what it really means to be a necromancer like mine. I mean, you be the judge, you tell me what you think. Let's get right into this whole deal here. Open up a hell room. So in order to really appreciate what I've created here, I think it's important to look at what we're trying to achieve here because let's be real, Bone Spear Necro is pretty much the number one magic finding build in my opinion. For a necro i mean summoners are cool but nobody gets it done like either a poison necro in the pits or a bone necro in chaos corpse explosion is just so good and you can super capitalize on it if you do the right things here so this is a regular necromancer white wand enigma yada 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 hitting all the breakpoints here and we're hitting the 125 fcr breakpoints uh, he is a good necro. Forgot to do my stat points here. So when you totally fully got this guy maxed out, it's at like a level, uh, it takes 102 points. So the idea that you can get other things without the expense of some bone spear damage is totally impossible. But, you know, I've seen a lot of people also do what I do here where you put one point into each summon into the actual build and uh, yeah that's definitely the way you want to go uh, so but this right here <clears throat> is just gonna be your typical bone spear necro build I got it my white ones got summon resist so that's pretty dope max out our clay golem here forgot amp damage but we used to crepify on our white wand so either way get right into it So, does good. You guys know the drill. This is a really efficient character, but one that totally lacks real sustenance because the magic damage is great and corpse explosion is great, but with no physical damage outside of your mercenary, it's just it's just not that great. Uh, so what I aim to do is make a hybrid character that does at least 75% of this damage, the bone sphere and at least 50% of the amount of summons you can have. Excuse me. Thus, making us a, a better character. Because let's be real, if you're not doing more damage than you would if you were just a Bone Spear Necro, then it's totally pointless. So let's start break it, break it down. Insight. This is the biggest mistake I think people are doing in their builds. I mean, if you're broke and you're just started off, Insight is amazing. Uh, but in my opinion, using Insight as a form of mana regeneration, it's it's just one and done. You know, I mean, as a Necromancer specifically, if I'm going to have summons, it only makes sense for me to throw this shit on the ground, get rid of it, get this infinity, and hit it with it. And you're probably like, well, with no insight, how are you going to get mana, dumbass? Well, listen to this. Mana after kill is a very over underlooked skill or attribute. And these items are cheap. Okay. Because we're going to be using death web. And get this, though. The poison resistance on your death web don't mean shit. So you could get the worst death web that someone is charging because it's like 
40. And that's all you need. All you need is one that has got a decent amount of mana after each kill. And a homunculus. That's it. You need the normal net necro gear, don't get me wrong. You need all this shit. We also need a silk leaf. So, what does that mean? That means we're at 32. I think that's the number. Mana after every kill. Our bone spear does 22 damage. Or 22 mana. Watch this thing in action. We'll swap it out, get rid of that white. Grab this homunculus. And this isn't even the gear that I actually use. This is just what I would recommend if you're going to try to re replicate this build. Start with this. Because the real items that I use are these magic items. And it's it's pretty funny because if this was magic and with three to poison and bone, which would actually be a pretty good idea if you had the right jewels. It's hilarious to me that magic items are the king here. Uh, the other items, pretty typical. Stone Jordan, Iraq, Mage Fist, yada, yada, yada. We're hitting the 75 FCR breakpoint here, so that's tight. 125 FCR is not necessary for what we're doing. Here is the items though. Let's get them into action. We don't need that amulet once we switch over to these, but we'll play with these for now to show you the starter build here. Maybe do a chaos run. I almost forgot, I need to respec. Here's the funniest thing. Okay, oh my God. Don't, uns don't unsubscribe to me, but I'm gonna put points into energy. I know, I know. I heard Jesus got crucified on the cross for putting his stat points into energy. It's, it's true. Every guide you've ever read says, fuck energy, it's useless, it's pointless. But what if I said, if you just put some points into energy, wear a couple stones of Jordan, get this man after kill shit, you can use an infinity on a necromancer with corpse explosion and revives. Would you believe me? Check it out. We're going to put 125 extra points into energy. Sounds like a lot. I think it's like, we're going to get up to like 205 points. We're sacrificing not that much health. We're sacrificing some, sure. But at what expense? Because if you really want to be a summoner, you got to do summoner shit. Like, have auras. You know? It's kind of uh, funny... To me that the necromancer really never got picked apart like this i I've, I've never seen this build i totally have been playing for so long and i've played the necromancer for you know so many years oh wait here here it is one point every skill boom get your iron golem well we put five points into golem mastery and you don't have to if you want to play a little risky you know, you don't mind burning up beasts because it, it's, you know, still a burr rune. <clears throat> Get our skills here. Level 28 corpse explosion. That is proper. Again, with infinity, it's just unmatched. And the way you kind of want to play it is almost like a, you know, like a fishy mancer. Except in the chaos, it's just ridiculous. And you can't throw some MF on it too. You can't think the most you can get is like 320 magic find. If you uh... If you totally deck it out with the right charms. But I'm not doing that. I'll get more into a video about it. I had so many good charms. And honestly uh... Hold on let's throw these wands on real quick. Can't be losing our iron golem here. Well, there you go. That's what I think of an insight. And there's the beast. All right. All right. So check it out. Death web on a poison and bone. Bone only necromancer. It sounds ridiculous. But that man after each kill is just insane. Let's go ahead and get us some revives here. Oops. Forgot. That's the one kind of bummer thing about it is that you uh, you don't have the Crepify. You know that's a total drag. I'm actually going for skeletons, but I really like these guys. I'd actually go out of my way to grab these guys. It's just so fun to play a Necromancer because you get to kind of pick your army, man. That's just 
You know, I know when you're doing Ubers and stuff, it's pretty much like, yeah, get Erdars, Erdars are the best, and yada, yada, yada. But there's so much more depth to it than that, you know? Tell you what, you get a big gang of burning souls, well, with conviction, it's it's good times. Lower resist, too. So it kind of looks like we're hurting on mana. Like a dumbass, I forgot to do a battle order. That really helps. With this one, we have 1,400 mana. Or 1300. Oh, you run, you do got a phoenix on secondary though, so you just switch, switch it over, fill it right up. You know that comes at the sacrifice of like 60 mana. I think after the two levels of battle orders you get from spirit. I think it's just funny people are so just stuck on the idea that battle orders need to be as high as possible, and there's no, there can't be any other way. It's just like phoenix on your secondary is almost like having a instant health pots, you know? If, if there's bodies, you know, if you're getting owned, then you're getting owned, I guess, but I mean, you can just see there's just I mean, this build crushes still it's so awesome to not be stuck using insight I just don't like it and you know, this goes across a bunch of other builds too, I have a hammered in this plays very similarly, that doesn't use insight Not much tickles my fancy, but I can't deny an, an amulet. You never know. Ooh, look at this big gang of guys here. Uh, so obviously, you know, using amplified damage is fun. Um, I prefer decrepify personally, just because. I guess I prefer both. You know, because obviously in that scenario, amplified damage would be the best. But I don't have enough hotkeys. I got all my stuff all set up, so I only got one purse on there. I will clean this up. Get going here. I want to show you guys the items that I do use. Um, they're kind of hard to find. Just gonna say, this is definitely not a build that you'd want to do if you were broke. I mean, unless you. And when I say broke, I mean like super broke. If you got some form of way to trade, you know, all this stuff's pretty basic here, man. And you know, this is. Working just fine. Uh, mine does about a thousand more damage though for the bone spear. This really comes in handy. Maybe this is ethereal. Nope. Hey, that's. Look at that. And. Pretty much trash. So go ahead and switch to the items that I use here. And we'll go kill Bale. You can check it out. Uh, so I like to use the Necromancer's Bone Wand of Magus. This does have three to decrepify on it also, which is really cool. What, what makes this diff, using a blue wand's cool because if you can basically pick the other skill that you want, if you're assuming you can find the wand, but honestly you can, I don't know if you can shop for a lot of stuff. So, and then of course the jewels in it are very difficult to find when if you're looking for real godly stats like this uh, with both these here though because I also have a yeah, check that out six bone spear those jewels in there are just totally great they fill out my resistance just perfect I do lose quite a bit of uh, mana after each kill but you know at the sacrifice of more damage I'm in you know and then I get to use this really fancy amulet here. Look at that thing. So awesome. Um, so, yeah. That's the build, guys. Let's go kill Bale. Get the fuck out of here. Um, I got a whole nother series coming up pretty soon. Look at these burning souls over here. Get these guys. So I got a whole nother series coming up. Um, again... Been, I was working on this for a long time, a couple months actually, and uh, my account got hacked. Totally bumming on that. Um, I don't know how they got the password, but if I had to guess, uh, they got the password from my Battle.net ID, which I heard that there was a leak at blizzard and people's shit got hacked their passwords and like a 
naive, <laughs> naive idiot. Uh, let's just say the guy was, it was pretty easy to figure out what my shit was. And uh, it got me for about 18 characters. That I had to totally set up for this whole project that I've been working on. Uh, which is to turn every single class into a necromancer kind of hybrid. Like I said, I love the necromancer. It's like my favorite build, right? And it, with eternity and harmony and corpse mourn, uh, you can you can do some wild shit. I'm just gonna say, man, there are, some of these builds are really, really crazy, and it's totally a bummer that my account got hacked because a lot of this stuff. Man, where is this place? Because a lot of this stuff is just uh, items that I'm never gonna get again, which is a lot of like teleport charges and and other things of that nature. But uh, I decided because I'm sh I don't think I've ever mentioned this, but before I do any character I make on Battle.net, uh, I always go on Hero Editor and Hero it edited in first uh, to play around with the idea. That way I don't waste real resources on Battle.net. Uh, so luckily for me, I do have all of these characters essentially kind of saved before I started tweaking them out uh, so I can remember what they all are. Uh, so I'm going to probably come out with some hero editor shit, I guess. I mean, I I mean, all my shit's normally Battle.net, but I just uh, don't have the, any ways to recoup a lot of the stuff that I lost, unfortunately. If I had to put a number on it, man, it's probably like, I don't know, 25, 30,000 forum gold. There was a lot. There was a lot of stuff on there. And, uh... It's whatever. I got a project that I've been working on that I haven't really spoke about, and I've been working on it now for ten months. Ten months, damn. Uh, it involves <laughs> some really cool ideas. You guys will really like it. It should be ready hopefully in a couple months. Uh, it involves a lot of programming. Uh, it's really gonna try to bring new life to uber tristram because i tell you what guys i am as much as i love playing ubers you know there's only so many ridiculous things i can do by myself now i do have some really fun team ideas uh that i'm gonna be doing here coming in the near future that's gonna <laughs> be a lot of fun so uh, i'm kind of back on the trail i had to kind of recuperate from getting hacked man i had to get all the, uh, cause uh, all eight, all those 18 characters were my, the characters I make all the videos with, so. I had to remake all the characters. I've had so much help with, uh, a lot of, a lot of my friends online, though, that, uh, you know. We're back. To say the least, I mean. I feel like it kinda always happens, you know. Throughout the years, I've been scammed a bunch of times. Or hacked, or whatever have you, and, uh, and I just always feel like, Every time I come back, it always seems to be better, so. Let's go and kill this dude. Get, get out of here. I appreciate you guys checking out this video. First time showing my ugly mug, so I'll get used to it. Probably going to be doing that every time now. Super, super pumped for uh, what we got coming in the future, so. Let's see Bale drop this, but Crown of Ages. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> nah, no crown of ages. Maybe some ethereal. No. Later on. <laughs> 